Bernie Madoff was sentenced to 150 years behind bars, the maximum sentence for one of the biggest swindles of all times. Some of his thousands of victims were at the courthouse rooting for the stiffest possible punishment. He's evil, he's a sociopath, end of, end of story. This is the biggest crime in the history of the universe, and he should be punished accordingly. Madoff and his attorney Iris Sorkin asked for just 12 years behind bars. They say for the 71-year-old money manager, that amounts to a life sentence. But prosecutors pushed for the maximum, 150 years to guarantee Madoff never gets out. Ten of Madoff's victims asked to testify here at the sentencing. Many of them have emotional stories to tell, such as how they trusted him with their savings and lost it all. Madoff also had a chance to speak. His lawyer said he'd talk about the shame and acknowledge the pain he had caused. However, in this crowd, there isn't much sympathy, and the list of victims is huge, with little hope of recovering any significant portion of their wealth. I was in the process of retiring. In fact, it would have been around now I was going to retire. Uh, there's no retirement for me. Lawyers are scraping together what's left of the Madoff fortune to divide among the victims. And last week, Madoff's wife, Ruth, agreed to give up $80 million in assets. That includes her Manhattan penthouse. She remains free, not charged so far with playing a part in the crime. That means she'll be around to visit her husband, most likely at a low or medium security prison near New York City. Drew Levinson, CBS News, New York.